Here we have an SCT cartooner programmer that came in for repair. I have the screen right in front of me, and the problem is a damaged flex cable. Customer wants it fixed, and he paid for expedited service. Let's read what the customer wrote, and we'll take it from there. The customer said, referral, YouTube. Description, diesel tuner. Fell off the windshield, and the screen popped out. When this happened, the ribbon cable going to the screen tore. It looks like three, four traces tore, but they are very small, and I don't have the equipment to fix them anymore. So it looks like the customer used to fix them, but now he doesn't have the equipment anymore, so he cannot work on this flex cable anymore. So that's the whole story. I do see a rip right here. Let me inspect rest of the flex. This flex cable is shiny. I'm using the anti-glare light because with the ring light, it's going to be impossible to work on this cable. Let me show you what I mean. If we have it like this, we're going to have a glare all over the place because the cable is shiny. So to prevent this from happening, I'm using the Northridge Fix anti-glare light. And that cuts out all the reflections and glare. I always mention it. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you need this anti-glare light. We do not sell anything that we do not use ourselves for the most part. We carry and sell everything from this amazing microscope, articulating arm, hot air station, soldering station, thermal camera, tweezers, flux, braidwick, everything. One-stop shop. Just log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. If you have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. And just remember, all items are in stock unless the item is not in stock. Right? Makes a lot of sense. I want to be able to see what's under. It looks like maybe there was a sticker here, and that sticker was removed. All right, let's see what's going on. It looks like we have one. Two. Three. And possibly four. This guy right here. Yeah. Those lines are microscopic. It's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. Right? It's doable. But very precise work. I mean, you do not want to know how tiny those traces are. 
I do have a penny right next to me, and the trace is like the size of, I mean, the line is as thin as, actually smaller than the eye in United. That's the size of the trace. See how thin that line is in United, the eye? The line is thinner, maybe half the width of the eye. So we are dealing with very, very tiny traces. Looks big under the microscope, but those traces are tiny. Grab our grinding pen with a 0 0.6 tip. And let's see how, you see, look, look at the tip. This tip is very fine, but you cannot find a tip as small as those traces, impossible.
I mean, only if the customer had the tools, everything would have been easy. But the customer does not have the tools. Tedious process. We are done. I just have the UV light over the cable so we can dry that UV mask. And all we have to do is try the screen and make sure it works. Once the screen is connected to the device and it's closed, there's no reason why the customer should take that screen out again. So I'm going to ask Big Bus to be extra careful when installing that screen inside, inside the housing, because nothing is guaranteed. With this repair, nothing is guaranteed. I do not even know if this fix will work or not. Maybe we missed something. I mean, we are dealing with microscopic wires. What is the warranty on this repair? One hour. When I test it, that's it. When a customer comes in with a repair like this, we tell the customer we're going to charge you anyway. It does not matter if this works or not. I'm not going to sit and spend a lot of time working on this with a little chance of this being fixed. So if the customer want to take the risk, and I've done many repairs like this where I mentioned that we told the customer that repair is going to cost you either way. We're going to have to put the time and effort either way. And the repair is right here. We fixed four lines. I'm going to hand the screen over to Big Bus to reassemble and test. Hopefully it's a fix and I'll be back to finish the video. Yes, yes. Wow, it worked. Wow. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Now I'm going to ask Big Boss to seal the screen, make sure it's closed, and that's it. There's no reason why the customer should take that screen out again. The wires are very fragile, but we did it. Awesome job. Awesome job. Thank you, big boss, the boss of all bosses. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. Okay, so big boss said there's no way to seal and glue that screen because the screen has a bezel inside, and that bezel is broken. So it does not matter how you position that bezel or how much glue you add, you cannot glue that screen back on the housing. So what he did was he put two rubber bands on the sides and I told him just to watch out for touch if that will affect touch in any way. So he's going to test it again. And that's how we're going to send it to the customer. Okay, touch is good. Touch is good. Very nice. Very nice.